Hi everyone. This is the voice behind the noise. And I am Myron. According to statistics released by the Central Election Management Commission of South Korea on the 10th, the National Power Party candidate Yoon suk yeol won the 20th presidential election by a narrow margin. However, Yoon suk yeol has been working as a prosecutor for a long time and has no experience in parliamentary politics. After he takes office as South Korean president, he will face the triple challenge of unifying domestic politics, dealing with the epidemic and economic problems, and handling foreign relations. Okay, let's get more details about that. The first challenge is how to unite people. Yoon suk yeol won 48.56% of the votes, and the ruling party's Democratic Party candidate Lee Jae-myung won 47.83% of the votes. The two votes differed by less than 0.8 percentage points. The difference between the top two votes in the election results is very small, which is rare in the history of South Korea's constitutional government. At present, of the 300 seats in South Korea's National Assembly, the Democratic Party holds 172 seats, far more than the 106 seats of the National Power Party. Faced with such a situation, Yoon suk yeol who lacks experience in politics, may face many obstacles in organizing the cabinet and managing state affairs. The second is how to deal with the epidemic and boost the economy. At present, the epidemic in South Korea is still severe. The new government needs to contain the epidemic and effectively solve the problems of high domestic prices, high household debt, and low economic growth. At the same time, the low birth rate and aging population structure severe polarization of income distribution and rising youth unemployment are also problems facing the new government. The third challenge is how to properly handle foreign relations. Yoon suk yeol has no parliamentary experience and is known as a political amateur. Yoon suk yeol announced his candidacy for the presidency in June last year, joined the National Power Party in July, and won the election after just over eight months in politics. During the campaign, he described himself as a political newcomer with no faction and no power and vigorously promoted this as his own merit, saying that he doesn't owe any politician's favor, only the people. During the campaign, Yoon suk yeol made some remarks on sensitive diplomatic topics, including advocating toughness against the DPRK on the nuclear issue on the Korean peninsula, causing controversy in the country. All in all, how to formulate a guideline that is in line with the country's long-term interests will be a test for this newcomer to the political arena. Okay, that's all for today, see you in the next video.